Welcome back to Impact the World. Whether we're at home, traveling throughout the country, or around the world, we all want to feel a sense of personal safety and security. The study and research of homeland security has become an area of academic focus on college campuses in the last decade. And Penn State is leading the way. The students that we have have always lived in a world where there's uh, serious terrorism and ongoing activities. And so it, it's almost a routine aspect of their life that we have to help educate them about. Homeland security, buzzwords in today's society. With greater emphasis placed on security, the universities across the nation have seen information sciences and technology majors grow in scope to include all levels of security. None more relevant than Penn State's Security and Risk Analysis major, or SRA. The Security and Risk Analysis looks at the broad expanse of security issues that the nation might face, everywhere from natural disaster to terrorism. Many of the SRA professors are regarded as professors of practice. Colonel Jake Graham brings 26 years of extensive Marine Corps knowledge to the classroom. It's a great opportunity to bring my experience to bear. And one of the ways I try to do that is to introduce things that emulate real scenarios or real security issues. Whether it be Somali piracy, terrorism, cybersecurity, or natural disaster. Being able to have someone who's been there, who's been on the ground, who's been in those kinds of operations, the students really relate to that. Correlation does not prove causality. The first thing that strikes you about SRA students, they're good critical thinkers, they're good analysts. I think it should be used as a supplement more so than a replacement. So I really like the idea of cybersecurity, information security. I want to make a difference and ensure that their information is going to be secure. Thanks to technological advancements, SRA students benefit not only from Colonel Graham's real life experience, but also from the state of the art Extreme Events Lab which opened in 2009. The Extreme Events Lab was envisioned as a command post from which we could conduct experiments, do demonstrations. So the Extreme Events Lab actually becomes an extension of the classroom, and sometimes it becomes the classroom itself. We have a 3D visualization facility. We have 3D sound, so we can create some sonification kinds of experiments. Uh, we have a, a touch table. It's like an adrenaline rush for us techies. We have different like quadricopters that we're hoping to use to find out the best possible solution to problems. As the program continues to grow, so has the activity in the Extreme Events Lab. Red Cell Laboratory is an environment where we can bring small groups of students together and they can act as sort of the enemy, if you will. SRA students work in and out of the classroom on a multitude of threat and security scenarios. We're looking at a metro crash in DC, but it's linking to a heist and all these other crimes and each team's assigned a different agency like the FBI, the Transit Authority, and you get a different perspective to try and analyze it from each team. The students are acting as intelligence agents in teams, looking at data and trying to understand what's going on and predict what will happen. In the field, students conduct reenactments, such as a suicide terrorist attack, in order to evaluate data fusion techniques for better situational awareness. In a simulated environment, I'm basically taking in the form of the terrorist. And what we're able to do is actually take that standpoint and look at it. The research team, assisted by SRA students, record the entire scenario and then return to the Extreme Events Lab to break down the video in further detail. It takes a critical eye to review the game film, if you will. Was it because we didn't execute the play that was called, or did we just call the wrong play? The seriousness is for us to fill these temporary roles in these fake scenarios to provide the kind of, same kind of data so that we can predict how they're possibly going to act when the real world scenario actually happens. Being able to look at a terrorist organization from their point of view is an important aspect of security and risk. Not only are we learning out of a textbook, but we have a chance to apply that to 
actual technology that people are using in the workforce and kind of seeing how it all relates. The SRA major is only five years old, but the program places graduates at agencies in both the public and private sector at an 83% rate. I had an internship last summer. I already have one lined up for this summer and I've already gotten a full-time job offer, even though I have a year and a half of college left. Anytime you see students this young, thinking about collaborative approaches to, uh, you know, working a, a situation with a veteran's eye is pretty unusual. And both the skills that we're seeing coming out of Penn State, the analytical capabilities that you see are certainly above and beyond what you would expect from an undergraduate program. We are creating a new generation of students who will be intelligence analysts, they will be people who will be essentially on the front lines, if you will, of the information wars. 